This is Twit. We now can talk about some iPhone rumors, uh, and they involve lasers, which is always exciting. Sources tell Fast Company that Apple is working on a rear-facing 3D laser for AR and autofocus to be attached to the back of one of the three iPhones that Apple will announce in th the fall, hopefully. Fast Company says Apple engineers are working on the new laser system as fast as they can, but it might not be ready until the 2018 phones. When it is available, it will be used for the 3D selfie effects that make Snapchat so popular, with me at least, as well as facial <laughs> recognition for authentication purposes. What are your thoughts on these rumors, Micah? Well, if we're adding, you know, more types of, of uh, lasers and all this sort of focusing uh, mumbo jumbo, then obviously we're going to get better camera systems. And better camera systems means better AR and potentially better VR. And it's just it's a step down the road as we uh, move into the future of really cool things that we can do with our devices. So, I mean. You say lasers, and I'm already on board, but you say lasers, meaning that I'm getting better camera photography, I'm getting, again, better experiences in AR and VR, better Snapchat filters, uh, better Instagram filters, you know, when they come after Snapchat makes them, uh, a better dancing hot dog, then I, I'm sold. I think that it's great. And it, I think that lasers eventually means that I can, you know, put Snapchat filters on my dogs, right? I, I hope so. Um, yeah, that, that is the real, um, yeah, we're like cave people here. We can't even put Snapchat filters on our dogs. Um, I'm hoping the lasers will let us, like the phone will let us shoot lasers at our enemies. Ooh, laser tag, iPhone laser tag. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm cool. on board. So what about this? I mean, this also uh, goes along with this rumor we've been hearing that there's going to be no touch ID and it's going to recognize our face, which we have, I, I mean, it just doesn't, I can't believe that. It seems shocking to me that they would remove Touch ID and replace it with facial recognition that hasn't worked for anyone except for as a gimmick. Uh, I am with you, Megan. I'm with you. Um, I think that, you know, there's kind of a, a spectrum of you have people on one end that really, really, really hate Apple and you have people on one end that really, really, really like Apple. And somewhere toward the really, really like Apple side, there is... Uh, a group of, of hot takers who say that like anytime Apple comes out with something new or they make a compromise for something like removing the headphone jack, there's reason for it. And Apple took a lot of time to study this and they really thought about it and, you know, labs this and, and fake phones that and they've been testing it, yada, yada, yada. I, you know, I, I imagine that if we do get this sort of facial recognition stuff, they've tested it. But the testing can only go so far. They have a huge user base. And in the real world, outside of, you know, labs and like fake externals of phones that have the facial recognition technology built in, however they're testing it, there's going to be a different kind of uh, way that it plays out. And so it does worry me because I know Touch ID to work so well. And I don't want to have to go back to a caveman world where I have to uh, type in, you know, a code, um, a short code to enter my phone or get into my phone because, you know, the facial tracking isn't working anymore.